Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Lumen Weekly Q&A. So a lot of you guys who've been subscribed for a very long time might well know this series already. I have actually done it before and Nero's here, he's joining me. You might not see him, but he's right here on the floor. It's very hot today. He's in patting distance. That's good. Um, it's incredibly hot today. So he's all over the place, all over the house on the floor. But a lot of you guys that have been subscribed here for a long time might know this. I used to do weekly Q&As and I had a little like competition type thing with it. It used to be like a guessing type thing, but I'm not going to have that in this one. This is going to be a purely q and I might add stuff later with giveaways and the likes as well if I sort of get stuff to give away or if I find a nice way to actually do it uh, to involve you guys and keep it interesting. But for now, as I said, just a Q&A. And because I don't actually have any questions this week, I'm just going to take a couple of the commonly asked ones because I get sent messages about this often. I get comments about this often. And um, I've just made a little list of them. And instead of printing them out, because I keep printing them out, I don't know why. Uh, this is the future. I've got it on my phone. My phone is right here, as you can see. Look at that. Oh, very nice. That's right, Panda, on my phone right there. I don't know, I always, think it, I always thought it was really lame for people to have photos of their girlfriends or boyfriends on their phone or on their desktop or whatever. But, you know, it's not. It really isn't. Not when you're... Girlfriend is right panda. I got it. I don't know why. Okay, her photo is there. Anyway, okay. Now, um, I've got a few things here, a few topics that I'm going to cover, and I'm not going to mention them all right now. I'm just going to go through them, and you guys can, if you're interested, watch the whole thing. If you don't like Q and A type things, then don't bother. But firstly, I'm just going to say that my name is Swin, and I've been making videos and stuff for a long time. It feels like forever, but it's been like I don't know nearly two two years now, I think. Has it been two years? But it's it's been a while. And I'm doing it pretty much full time now. I am hoping to make some money from it soon. I've been trying to join the game station. I've got a couple of offers from Machinima already. And I'm still trying to see what I want to do with that. I would actually prefer to join the game station because I feel that there are a lot more like-minded individuals in that group of people. So I'm going to wait for that. I'd prefer to just wait till I can actually get in there instead of just jumping into Machinima right now. And for those that didn't know, if you join a group like that, like Machinima or Game Station, then they will stop putting ads on your videos. You'll basically start making some money from it. It might not be a lot for someone like me, because right now I gotta say my videos don't all get that many views, but I suppose it helps a bit with exposure and every little bit would help. You know, instead of making no nothing from it, no income at all, I'll make something. So. Not that that's out of the way. Uh, I'm I'm 26 years old right now, and I keep forgetting my age as well. Is that normal? I never I I never remember my age. I, for some reason, it's something that just it happens. I don't know why. I I do remember when my birthday is though, because that's quite fun. Usually, most years. So I'm 27, 26 years old. 27 in September, September the first actually, and well, I do really enjoy making videos. It's, it's a passion of mine. I absolutely love commentating. I've been playing games for an incredibly long time. I think we started playing games, my, by we I mean myself and my sister and our family members basically, back when TV games, it, we called it TV games. And I know someone's actually already corrected me on this before, but I still don't remember the technical name for it. But um, the old cartridge based systems. So it's it was first the TV games that I keep calling them. And then the Sega... Mega ROM, Mega ROM, I think, Sega Mega ROM, something like that. It, I had we, or oh, I didn't have it. I actually played it at a friend's house, but they had Sonic and the slightly more advanced games. And on the TV games, we played things like this battle tanks thing, this funny little motorbike thing. It had Pac-Man on. It was those like 200 in one games, Paper Boy. Um, I remember we got Contra, which was super special. I absolutely loved Contra. That game was amazing back then, at least. And uh, the first PC type system we got was, it was either 386 or 486, and the first proper game I played on there, well, that I really, really, really got into was Ultima 7. And we got this mix CD with like Ultima 7, Ultima Underworld, I think it had one of the Wing Commanders on, it had one of the System Shock games on. It was like a really, I don't know why, but it was like a really, a Savage Empire as well, a really good combination of games. I would say the perfect starting point for anyone getting into gaming. And I was lucky enough to have that. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, I, I played a lot of Ultima 7. Myself and my sister, we actually 
there's this language, this rune language in Ultima 7, we actually decoded the whole thing. It's amazing. I don't know how we did it, but that's that's how into it we both were. We we took it and we translated it into normal letters, so we could basically, at that point in time, that was a long time ago, we could read those runes. And that's, that's super nerdy. It's like those people learning Klingon or something. I feel sort of embarrassed about that, but anyway, it was a lot of fun, and that's the kind of games that I grew up playing. After that, we went on to like getting a Pentium 100, and then a 166, and then like a Pentium 300, and that was huge. And then from there, the biggest jump was up to an AMD, was it an Athlon 1200 hertz, and that was, wow, that was, that was game changing, world changing, life changing, actually. And uh, then it, it just went from there, basically. I played in my youth. And I say that now, but it's only a couple of years ago. I played a lot of Counter-Strike. I'm actually pretty good at Counter-Strike. I played a lot of Quake 3. I'm probably even better at that. Really good. I've played a lot of it. Um, I absolutely loved it. Top game, top FPS game of all time for me. I think that there hasn't actually been a better FPS to date. They just don't make games like that anymore. Counter-Strike as well, you know, it's it's fun, but it's not the, it's not the same level as Quake for me. So... I don't, know, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I'm just giving you a little bit of my history, basically. And we spent a lot of time playing games. We never had decent internet here, so a lot of you guys might have not grown up landing, but we land every single weekend, um, sometimes during the week, and that's basically when you just have a bunch of people, a bunch of friends coming over, bringing their PCs to one place, and playing games against each other. Because the internet was too bad in South Africa back then, we always had 56k modems, so it cost an immense amount of money to actually connect and, uh, you know, do anything online, and the, the latency, the download speeds, everything was too slow. So we land a lot, we played, when we land, we played Quake, we played Counter-Strike, we played a lot of Warcraft 3 when that era started. Before that, we played things like Age of Empires, and you know, other strategy games, I think a lot of my friends actually like Dark Rain a lot. Funny enough, we didn't really get into StarCraft as much back then, but Warcraft 3, when that came out, we played that a lot. I played a lot of Warcraft 3, 1v1, 2v2, stuff like that. Not really very much Dota. Uh, it just didn't interest me as much back then. And yeah, that's pretty much it. After, I didn't play very many MMOs or anything like back then. I played, we played some WoW when it came out, uh, but that's it. So, I've been playing games a long time. And I guess that's just why I like talking about them, that's why I like commentating over them, because I do have a lot to say, and a lot of people don't realize it, but it sometimes gets a bit difficult to concentrate on the game and talking about something relate or something relevant at the same time. So I suppose having that history in gaming helps out a lot with that. That's just sort of a tip for if anyone actually wants to get into doing commentaries and stuff. The fact that you actually played games before, or having played games before, or playing a lot of games in general just helps that out a lot. So if you play a ton of PlayStation 3, then you decide, I want to do commentary, and then you start playing on PC for the first time ever, it might be a bit tough for you to actually do it properly. So um, then you should probably stick with PlayStation. A lot of people do commentary on, on consoles. That's just an example I'm giving, basically. Okay, so that's that. Um, and I've given, you now, I've given you that now, so you can use that, you can ask me any questions you want, you can leave the questions in the comments below this video, and I'll answer them, but I'm, gonna only, I'm only gonna be answering about, I don't know, five to 10 questions, depending on the length of the question, how many little offshoots there'll be for that question, because I know how, I can probably talk about one question for like a half an hour, so it all depends on the week, but I'm not gonna answer every single question, that might get a bit crazy, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that or fit it into a decently length video because I want to be able to That's actually one of the reasons this video is not going to be in HD Well, it might be in HD, but it's not it's, I'm not recording it with an HD camera So uh, so, so it can be a bit smaller so that I can get it up in time But I'm going to answer as many as I can and I'll take interesting ones I'm not going to be the one choosing the questions alone. I'll get right panda to help me uh, whoever else is here can help me. If someone is around, they can help me choose a few questions that are good and interesting. And I'll try and mix it up. So if there's one question, I'll take maybe one or two about me, one or two about, say, South Africa or Nero or, or Riot Panda, uh, and then one or two about gaming. Because, you know, this is all about gaming. That's what we're here to talk about. So, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is where the name Lumen comes from. Now, I didn't actually always use Lumen as a nickname. When I started playing PC, I had like thousands of random different different nicknames. I never used the same one. I just chose something on the day. 
and that continued for quite a while and then for a while I used the nickname Shadow Thief, a lot of you might know that and I switched to Lumen recently, uh, probably about a year or two ago because that actually came from a book series that myself and Rai Panda are oh, we were working on. It's on hold right now because we've got so much other stuff going on and she's trying to sort of get her own art career off the ground and you'll hear about that soon enough. Don't worry. When, when she's ready to like show off everything she's doing then I'm gonna make sure all of you guys see it as well. So she's busy with that, I'm busy with my thing. We don't really have that much time to get back to the book stuff and it's basically a two-part thing. I'm busy writing a book, or I was, like I said, it's on hold at the moment, writing a book for slightly older readers and myself and her together were making a book for kids. And kids, I'd say, between the age of, say, I don't know, five to, five to seven? I don't know, youngish kids. So it's a, a children's story and the world that it's set in is called Lumen. And the book series is called The Tales of Lumen and that's where the channel name came from. It's sort of how everyone starts off on YouTube. For some reason, all these big YouTubers have this channel name and it's sometimes not in any way relevant to what they're doing and then they regret the fact that they chose that channel afterwards. That's not the case with me. I definitely don't regret it. I think it's an amazingly cool channel name and the Tales of Lumen series, or, or I could call it a brand name now because I'm trying to work it up to that, is still one that I really do love and it's something that I'll definitely be working on and, and progressing as I go through further with this. Um, but the the name itself, Lumen, came from that. The world's name was Lumen. And I the, it's a very expansive world. Funny enough, I've got an entire world like fleshed out. I've got a story that I'm working on. It's it's actually really interesting. Uh, to me, at least, I don't know. I haven't showed it to that many people. My mother has read a lot of it. She used to be an English teacher at school. So she, so she helped me out a lot. And she, you know, proofread some of the stuff. We've actually got some of the little snippets of writing on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Tales of Lumen. I think that's that's where it is. And there are like little pieces of my book. There are little pieces from the, the children's book. There are, I don't know if there are actually pictures there anymore, but the quotes and stuff should still be there. So if you guys want to look at that, you can. It's there. And I'm going to I'm gonna get to that again. I'm actually looking for some way to incorporate that into the channel and I'm looking to not bump the camera's tripod, but I'm looking for some way to incorporate that into my channel to maybe, I don't like the whole idea of an ebook because I think that firstly, I don't have a really good voice for reading a book to anyone. I don't think someone would want to read or listen to a 400 page book in my voice. It just, you know, it's not the kind of voice you want to hear for something like that. I'd listen to a 400 page book with Sean Connery reading it, for sure. Ron Pullman, he's got a pretty cool voice. Uh, who else is there? <laughs> unimportant, unimportant. Sean Connery, that would be the best one. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking for some way to incorporate it in the channel. If I had someone who was willing to do a lot more art for that, then I'd make some sort of like uh, pictorial story. Does that even make sense? Some sort of visual story. So I'd have the book, um, I'd, maybe I'd read it audiobook style and then have some nice art in the background but I don't have that right now because Ride Panda is so busy with her own stuff and she doesn't really do the kind of art that would fit with that but yeah I'm just telling you guys that I will probably eventually start putting some of that stuff on the channel and I'll see how you guys like it because I don't know um, I'd say it's different and it's nice to have some different stuff on the channel same reason that I do news I do gameplay commentary I do random stuff. I do vlogs as well and now this. It's nice having a variety of stuff on the channel so you can keep a lot of different people interested and the people who watch the one thing might, you know, watch something else once and then they'll enjoy it. They'll get hooked on that. It's just, I think it's nicer having a variety than covering one single game to its fullest. I mean, I, I do appreciate the fact that some people go to great lengths to cover single products, games, themes on their channel, but it doesn't really suit what I'm doing right now. Anyway, okay, so that's where Lumen came from. It's the name of the world in the, in the book series that we're working on, and I like it. It's a nice word. It's a, it's a very cool word. I know a lot of people, I've seen people with the name Lumen with the E instead of I at the end, and I think that's a beautiful name as well. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, if I had a child one day, I'd call her Lumen any day. Her, because I find it's probably a better female name, but that would probably be quite awkward. So I'm not going to do that. Anyway, okay, so now I'm going to look at the next question because this is another one that a lot of people ask. Uh, these are now gameplay related ones. You can see what I did was I mailed myself 
a list of questions. There's only like four or five, but a lot of people have been asking me, I've got like five messages in the last week. Are you going to play Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning? You know, I might play it. Honestly, it costs like $59 on, or $60 on Steam and that's a lot. For us uh, in South Africa, it actually, it's a lot of money. So I might not buy it at first. Maybe if it goes on special sometime, I'll get it. But the chances are good I'm not going to do a playthrough of it, of it on my channel because at the moment I'm doing Skyrim and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys are actually enjoying Skyrim. I'm enjoying Skyrim, so I think it's a good series to carry on with for now. Sure, it might get old in a couple of months because I have been doing it for a couple of months already, but by then maybe I'll be done with it. So who knows? I'd love to play Amalur. I am a huge fan of, of R.A. Salvatore. There you go. I'm a huge fan. Okay, I've got every single book that he's ever written, except for the latest ones. I think I mentioned that in a vlog once. And I think that the world will be absolutely amazing to explore. It's sort of got, got a nice... It's, a, it's the type of game I would play, yes. So maybe if I, if I do happen to get it or pick it up somewhere in the next couple of weeks or months, then I'll play it myself and maybe give you guys some impressions on it. But I don't think it'll work if I had to do another playthrough on my channel right now. Diablo 3 is going to be done soon, for sure. Um, I've, Path of Exile is on hold for now, just because, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just, uh, it's the kind of thing that I've done a lot of Path of Exile already, I've played through it already for now, and I want to try and get the other stuff done first. So, it's just taking a bit of a break. Then there's obviously Assassin's Creed, which I started recently, which I don't think will take that long to get through. But I just don't have time to upload all these different series because of the slow internet that we have. And I think that goes back to what I said before about joining Game Station or Machinima. When I start making money from something like that, from this whole thing, then perhaps I can upgrade my internet. And by upgrade, I don't get excited now. I can't actually upgrade it. We've got the fastest possible line in this area. So um, what we will do is... I think we can bond lines. So what I'll do is I'll get another line of the same speed and connect the, link the two. Then we'll have a line that's double the speed. So it's like an upgrade, but different. Anyway, <laughs> I've got a sidetrack now. So Amalur, I'd like to play it. I'd love to play it, but you know, it costs a lot. It takes a lot of time. I don't really have very much time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'd like to, but probably not going to happen when it releases and you could couple that with the fact that I think this game is going to be it's going to be done to death more so even than Skyrim it seems because I know that Day9 is doing his streamathon on the release day of the game and that's going to be absolutely crazy there are going to be so many people that are going to be playing it for eight hours straight that YouTube is going to be flooded with those videos so even myself even me I would go out and watch that I love watching Day9 play games he's an incredibly funny guy and a great commentator so if I, if I had to recommend one person who you should watch Check out Day9. Total Biscuit, he could give you some very valuable insights. Like he, He's very cynical about what he does, obviously. And I think he's also a great person to watch. Maybe Day9 for the, for the more people looking for more fun stuff. And Total Biscuit for people looking for more intelligent commentary. There you go. And less swearing and stuff like that. Because I know Day9 swears a lot. Which is pretty weird. I watched his Amnesia playthrough and it was actually pretty amazing. Then the next question here. I will open my phone up, unlock it. Oh, I get to see Ride Panda again. Anyway, then, will you play Mass Effect 3? That's another game that I'm getting a lot of. And Mass Effect 3, honestly, I think I will play. Even though that will probably get played just as much on YouTube, it's something I'm very passionate about as well. I played Mass Effect 1 and 2, and I absolutely loved it. I've got a, somewhat of a crush on Femship. I think the female Shepard is just absolutely amazing. Uh, you guys heard that I was cooing over how good a voice actress Jennifer Hale is and I absolutely loved the story of Mass Effect. I thought it was amazing. The the whole way the game played because it combined a few of my favorite things. FPS games, faster paced combat with a pretty decent RPG system. A lot of people will say that Mass Effect 2 was dumbed down compared to Mass Effect 1 but I think the combat system in Mass Effect 2 was amazing. The game ran incredibly well. It performed well on my system and it just it looked amazing. It, it just felt like an experience when you played it. So I'll definitely play Mass Effect on my channel. Hopefully, and I'm saying this uh, very tentatively, but hopefully I'll be done with either Skyrim or Revelations by then. Skyrim is the kind of thing that'll actually never end if I don't want it to, but I do actually want it to end. Sadly, I want Skyrim to end at some point. Not right now, because I'm still enjoying it immensely, but eventually Skyrim will have to end. So that's pretty sad, but something else will begin, and that'll be just as fun. Hopefully. Hopefully.
<laughs> okay, so Mass Effect 3 is a definite yes from me. Um, if there aren't any issues with it or anything like that, then somehow I've managed to close the mail. There we go. I mailed myself to my phone's email address. I'm not going to tell you what that is. I don't want you stalking my phone. But um, I, I mail it from my computer to my phone and then I look at it in a text document. So, the next question was, are you going to cover Guild Wars 2? So this is a bunch of questions that are pretty much the same about different games. And Guild Wars 2, I would absolutely love to cover. I might actually have a Guild Wars 2 uh, news episode coming out later. So you can check back here for that. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, I'm going to try to get into the beta. I'm not sure I'm going to yet. I've spoken to a few people, but uh, there's no surety yet. I haven't actually spoken to anyone personally at ArenaNet yet, so I don't know if I'm going to get in. Uh, I would like to get in and I'd like to do some commentary on it and coverage on the beta because that would be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be an amazing game. Uh, so yes, definitely going to cover that. And then another question, StarCraft. I'm going to be getting back into StarCraft soon. I've, been actually, I've actually been playing a couple of ladder games now recently because I want to get back into it seeing that the guys from Polar Flug might actually start paying me soon because they might have some bigger plans for the future. So if I start doing that slightly more professionally, then I'd have to actually know a bit more about the game. So playing it would be a definite must. I'm going to start playing more StarCraft soon, and when I feel a bit more comfortable, I'll start uploading games again. You guys can give me suggestions on what you want to see. I might do costs or shout costs of pro replays, but they'll be in a different style. They'll be in a more of a learning style. I'm going to be looking at the replays, trying to figure out how they'll help me, and I'll go through the process with you. So that would be an interesting way of doing it. And while at the same time I'll also upload games of my own that I commentate over, tell you what I did right, what I did wrong, all that kind of stuff, like, like my previous Lumen Ladders games were. So StarCraft, definitely going to be covering that. And I think that's actually it. I think that's all the questions I had here. Um, let me have a look. No, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, like I said, I'm going to try to do this every week, but it's not going to be 100%. If I don't have time for it, if there's a ton of other stuff going up, if it's a really busy week, I might not get it up. So what I will do is I'll just, if I don't get one up that week, I'll still just use the same comments, the same questions, and get it up as soon as I possibly can. Because something like this is not a lot of effort on my part. I just have to sit here and talk. There's not a lot of editing. I'm not going to give it a fancy name, put any intros or outros in. It's just going to be a straight up plain video. And that's that. So I'll try to do it because, as I said, not a lot of effort and it shouldn't be too big because it's not going to be super HD, high quality stuff. I hope. <laughs> I will see. I'll see when I render it, how it comes, how it comes out. But that's me for this episode of Lumen's Weekly Q&A or Lumen Weekly. You could just call it that. I don't know. I don't want to call it that because it gives people the wrong idea. It's not exactly the same as the previous show was. But anyway, we'll see about the name. Not important. You guys can also give suggestions about that. I don't really mind. Um, but leave those questions for next week and let me know. You can ask about anything myself. You can ask about South Africa. You can ask about life here. You can ask about how slow our internet is, about the games that I play, about the games that I'm currently playing, about future games that are coming out. You can ask about Nero. He's actually sleeping on my bed right now. Um, about Ride Panda, if you like. I'll obviously speak to her about this and get the proper answers, or I'll just answer it how I see it. Because if you ask something about her, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to answer it, seeing that, you know, I see her pretty much 24 hours a day. Anyway, so that's going to be it for this episode. Check back here soon for more. Most importantly, though, leave those questions, and that's it. Leave those questions, and let me know what you guys think about this. Would you like to see it every week? All that kind of stuff. Happy that.